so in this tutorial we are going to learn some more examples of linear programming problem so let us look on to this example a truck company requires the following number of drivers for its trucks during 24 hours the time allocation is given for from 0 to 4 it will be like 5 persons were required or 5 drivers were required so similarly from 4 to 8 10 8 to 12 20 12 to 16 12 16 to 20 22 20 to 24 8 according to the shift schedule a driver may join for the duty at the midnight 4 8 12 16 20 hours and work continuously for 8 hours and formulate the problem as linear programming problem to get the optimal shift so if you get any uh, keyword like an optimal shift then the problem is said to be a minimization problem and to solve this kind of problem uh, we have to see the number of uh, hours the workers or uh, the drivers works continuously here the continuous hour they have to work is 8 so we should not take this as x1 so what we have to do is uh, so we have to use this 8 hours so 0 to 4 it will be like 4 hours and 4 to 8 it will be like 8 hours so we have to create an equation like this x1 for the first 8 hours plus so they can continue to the work uh, from 4 to 8 or 8 to 12 so they can write like this x2 x1 plus x2 greater than or equal to 10 since the problem is minimization so the problem is x1 plus x2 greater than or equal to 10 so to write this equation or to write uh, the constraint for this uh, time limit we have to write uh, x2 plus x3 greater than or equal to 20 so similarly for this one 12 to 16 we can write x3 plus x4 greater than or equal to 12 for this 16 to 20 we can write x4 plus x5 greater than or equal to 22 for this 20 to 25 we can write x5 plus x6 greater than or equal to 8 like that we can write so for this obviously it is like x6 plus x1 greater than or equal to 5 so i have not written for this constraint so just uh, write it yourself so x6 plus x1 greater than or equal to 5 for this constraint it will be like x3 plus x4 greater than or equal to 12 x4 plus x5 greater than or equal to 20 x5 plus x6 greater than or equal to 8 then what about the objective function z is nothing but we have to add, add all the time because the time slot is given like 4 8 12 16 20 hours so it will be like z is equal to x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4 plus x5 plus x6 so it is like x1 plus x2 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4 plus x5 plus x6 the problem is minimization problem so we will look on to the similar example so the same thing a city hospital has following minimal daily requirement of nurses the period is given and the clock time is given and minimum uh, number of nurses required so if the problem comes like minimal the problem is said to be a minimization problem and uh, the report they ask to work for 8 continuously hours so from 6 to 10 it is like only 4 hours from 4 to 12 it is like 4 hours so what we can do is we can write the second equation like um, x1 plus x2 greater than or equal to 7 and uh, this as x2 plus x3 greater than or equal to 15 and this as x3 plus x4 greater than or equal to 8 and this as like uh, x4 plus x5 greater than or equal to 20 this as x5 plus x is greater than or equal to 6 and the starting value like 6 am to 10 am we can write like x6 plus x1 greater than or equal to 2 
the objective function you have to get the summation of all the values like x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4 plus x5 plus x6 similarly uh, so this will be the final solution we have to write uh, like this and with help with non negativity constraint x2 x1 x3 x4 x5 is x6 are strictly greater than or equal to 0 so we will see another problem a farm is engaged in breeding pigs. A pigs are feed on various products grown up on farms because of the need of ensure certain nutrient constituents. It is uh, necessary to buy additional one or two products which we shall call A and B. The nutrient constituents in each units of the products are given below. So the problem itself they are given in the form of table. So the problem is minimum uh, amount of nutrient is required. So it is the problem is minimization problem. And the profit is also given 20 per unit and B uh, for cost for B is 40. So this will be the objective function and this will be the constraint 36 XA plus 6 XB uh, greater than or equal to 108 3 XA plus 12 XB greater than or equal to 36 20 XA plus 10 XB greater than or equal to 100 and X1 sorry XA comma XB should be strictly greater than or equal to 0 that is non-negativity constraint. And we have uh, some other problem, so you can work it out uh, with yourself. So you can pause the video and you can uh, understand the problem and you can see the uh, solution or you can obtain the solution. So this will be the solution for this problem. So you can pause the video and you can check out the uh, solution with yourself. So this is another problem. So here they are uh, producing two styles of uh, shirts, style 1 and style 2. So this will be the uh, solution. So you have to write like this. For example, when you take uh, x1 as a variable for style 1, you have to take x1 equal to number, you have to write x1 equal to number of uh, style 1 shirts. Similarly, x2 is equal to number of style 2 shirts. So the problem is here they have given us to maximize. So the problem is maximization problem. And the constraint is also given what they have given uh, in the grams but uh, the net profit uh, like 19.50 for style 1 and 15.90 for style 2 so it will be a like objective function and it has an inventory of 24 kg of cotton thread 26 kg of decon thread so what uh, you have to see is here they have given everything in grams but here they have given everything in uh, kilograms what you need to do is uh, you need to convert that gram uh, kilogram into a gram because in the left hand side they have given everything in a gram so right hand side if if kilogram is given